the connection uh, is not okay. Let's continue. We can continue and we, I think you just have a, two, three more questions to wrap up. Yes, yeah? yes exactly. So uh, uh, we talked about a small example or a sketch about a successful uh, conversation or business meeting over a meal. Now I want to... Um, I would like to learn from you and another time you said it in the beginning, but it's, it's really, it will be very useful for the audience about your father's three best advices for all times and all circumstances. And what was the context at that time? If you can repeat that again, it would be really great for the audience. Thank you. Sure. Sure. Hoda. So each one of us goes through different challenges in our life. And for me, as I shared in the earlier part of the live is that, at the age of 13, I went through that difficult childhood experience where I was born and brought up in the UK, living in London. The school I went to, I was bullied, I was teased, humiliated, made fun of. And so it was a very uncomfortable, unpleasant, negative feeling. I had very few friends. My self-esteem, my confidence was low. Nothing made sense. And I was confused and had no purpose. I went to my dad and I said to him, please help me in this space. I feel like I'm in a shell. Nothing's working out and I need your guidance. And he said, I'm going to give you three pieces of advice. So one was surround yourself with the right people. Continuous learning. And third and most important is take action. So I changed schools at the age of 13, a couple of years later, when I changed schools, my set of friends changed. When my friends changed, I was surrounded by friendly, positive, upbeat people. When you had a great set of people around you, my education, I felt good about myself, my self-esteem, my confidence went up. So the people you surrounded myself with helped me build my confidence and self-esteem, which then meant my learning was that much better. And I took action and my whole outlook on life has never been the same. So what I was sharing is that that experience at 13 has helped me throughout my life, whatever experiences we've challenges with. So in 2009, and again today, more relevant to today, we're going through a challenge where it's affecting people's relationships, people's business, people's health, because they're managing all the quadrants of their life under one roof with many people in lockdown. So surrounding yourself with the right people who uplift you, energize you, make you feel positive, that's step number one. You can do that in person at home and obviously virtually with friends, with family, with people you feel good about, with common interests, like-minded, like-hearted. So you feel good. Then there's continuously learning, learning new things through webinars, through blogs, podcasts, reading. Continuously learn, stimulate your mind, keep yourself stimulated intellectually, and then take action. Apply the learning in your life. The moment you apply that, there's a feel-good factor, there's learning, and there's new value that you bring in your life. So that's the three pieces of advice my dad gave me then, and it applies throughout our life. And that's something I really wanted to encourage each of you to really um, apply. Thank you very much for the three advices. Uh, really very useful throughout life. Uh, uh, Gotham, in today, turbulent circumstances and of social distancing and uh, lockdown, uh, how can we break bread? I think first and foremost is making the distinction. It's not social distancing. That's the word used. I think to me, it means they mean physical distancing. So once you first and foremost understand they're talking about physical distancing in, in person, but social, socially, we have an opportunity to build new meaningful relationships and connected with people. You can connect like we're connecting here in Insta Live. You're in Dubai. I'm in Mumbai. I'm having Zoom calls with US and UK earlier today. Exactly. You're, you can exactly. connect by Zoom. My birthday was in April. I had three Zoom get togethers with family, with friends and cousins. We put 20, 30 yeah. people together. I said, you know, I invited everyone. I said, enjoy the food and the drinks in your home. We'll celebrate live. We cut a cake. You make the most of what you have. I mean, focus on what you can do, not what you can't do. Focus on what you have, not what you don't have. So staying, but basically you can build more meaningful relationships. I have actually applied one of the rules learned through Phil Bedford is about a how are you phone call. So in the two months plus lockdown, I've made over now currently over 100 conversations. Those conversations where you have connected with people virtually, got to understand their pains, given a listening ear, 
given your thoughts and ideas, made people feel good about themselves. That's also a way to break bread virtually. So to me, you know, you may not have the physical opportunity to meet face to face, but that doesn't stop you from connecting with people virtually and building meaningful relationships. Yes, it is true, very true. And I also did my birthday uh, with my family, my daughter here and my family in Egypt. It was really great. My friends throughout, it was like 34 persons. So it really gave me the warmth and the feeling of the family and as if we were sitting together. So we are trying always to get the best out of the current situation. And uh, I agree with you. Uh, I agree with you. And uh, you made me really remember when I was young, to have that family gathering over a table. It was every Friday at my grandmother's uh, house. It, this was the extended family. And it was really, I now discover how useful it was to building my character. And it, held, it, it gave me great lessons in life. Until now, I still remember those gatherings. I hope we can do it for our children as well. Uh, maybe in these uh, circumstances of the COVID, maybe it will be a good opportunity to start over uh, and get this tradition back again to our lives, to our table, and gather uh, together all the family and the extended family over meal. Uh, Gautam, uh, finally, I would like to know from you, what is your, for your formula and your equation to a happy, fulfilled, and successful life? And this is a standard question. I ask it at the end uh, to uh, all my guests. Uh, so I would like to know from you uh, your formula to happiness. Thank you very and much for that. Life. Well, I, I, I'm going to be grateful to my dad, as I shared on the three pieces of advice. To me, that's what's most exciting. I apply that each and every day of my life. I make sure I spend time speaking, meeting, communicating with people who uplift me, are positive, are looking at positive ideas. So anything, any people who I know personally, professionally, I stay connected with, with people who, who are positive. Then I'm continuously learning. I'm, you know, in this time, I mean, we're working longer hours than ever between attending webinars, hosting webinars, reading, listening to podcasts. So I'm constantly stimulating the mind with new ideas. So to me, when you feel... The, peop the, time, the people you spend time with, that has a direct correlation to how you feel. Then the, the way you learn and the way you apply that. So I'm a person who takes a lot of action. The moment this lockdown happened, I immediately moved to acceptance and got into overdrive in, in staying connected with people, learning and taking action. To me, when you apply those three philosophies each and every day, I live it, I breathe it, and I follow it like a tea. And that's what gives me a lot of happiness and inner fulfillment each and every day. Uh, great formula, really. Uh, and it is true. Uh, it, this gives a meaningful and uh, a feeling, a sense of fulfilling life. That's true. Especially the connection and relationship with people. Uh, today episode was uh, happiness in building relationship. I was really uh, so glad to have and to connect with uh, Gautam. Ganglani and his new book, Best of Luck for the launch of uh, the new book, uh, Breaking Bread. And the concept itself, I like it very much, uh, the concept of breaking bread. And it's, uh, I will just re uh, give a summary about it again. It's about getting together over a cup of coffee or over meal and exchanging energy, uh, uh, making meaningful rapport. It will help in uh, uh, building long-lasting relationships on the personal level and in business level. Uh, do you want to add anything, uh, Gautam, to, to this uh, really amazing concept of breaking bread? To the I, I'll of... keep it simple and just I invite the viewers to visit GautamGanglani.com. You'll get a chance to sort of read some insights into the book Breaking Bread and apply the philosophy into your life to be more happy and more fulfilled and achieve long-lasting success through building meaningful relationships. So I encourage you to visit my personal website, GothamGanglani.com. Yes, and I think it's a very good opportunity also to tackle this topic, especially we are uh, in the holy month of Ramadan, uh, and we all the family should eat together. Every year we used to do that, but for now we are only uh, sitting over the meal, the small family. 
uh, but hopefully uh, things will get for the better. Thank you very much. Uh, my, thank you. Gordon. My pleasure. My pleasure. They say thank families you. that eat together stay together. So that's a closing exactly. note to say with me. I agree with that. Thank you very much. Stay tuned. Thank you. And see you. Next Thursday in a new uh, episode of the Happiness Club with a new author, a new topic. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. Thank you, Hoda. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.